Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. So, finally, Square Enix has put down basically what I would call a very good amount of information regarding the Marvel Avengers game. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, I made a video saying I had a lot of uncomfortable, basically, you know, uh, I don't know, a lot of uncomfortable revelations that I thought was going to doom this game. But some of you had already expressed your own side of, you know, the story and said, you know, pay, you know, just pay attention to when they're going to be revealing the game. No need to be stressed out. It seems like they have their head on their shoulders. And from what they showed at the war uh, table with the Avengers reveal, I would say they seem to basically have their heads on their shoulders. They were able to show gameplay. They were able to show some of the systems now to everybody in general. They had shown some of this stuff in the past at some conference, but I think this is something that they should have given the community much more of initially. But it seems like they were trying to maybe keep it to build some marketing hype, but <laughs> marketing hype has basically been disrupted by everything going on in the world. And now everybody has to come to terms with basically showing their games to the audience that necessarily will be engaging in this, not using any kinds of uh, gatekeepers or any kinds of hype building machine or medium. And what we have right now is basically gameplay of Marvel's Avengers from the, you know, the perspective of even Thor and Kamala Harris. And we've even seen some gameplay of Iron Man himself and even Hulk and some from Black Widow. But this War Table event basically showcased a lot more of Thor and some of Kamala Harris. If you look around from the different gaming news coverage that this has gone through. So what does this mean? I think this means that we basically have a game that is basically completed and is basically close to its completion phase. We haven't heard any news of the game going gold, and they even put a disclaimer saying that a lot of the gameplay we were seeing were from an earlier build of the game, meaning that there will still be modifications and changes still going on. But really, honestly, who cares? The game seems to be in a very solid place. Graphics seem intact. Even though I could see a few things getting blotchy um, just from the gameplay presentation, perhaps because it was streamed over the internet, until we play the game, we'll be able to judge its quality. And until we hear anything about its completion, we'll be able to figure out if it has gone gold or if it's something that, you know, hopefully it doesn't get delayed or hopefully we don't get updates or a big 100 and something gig update file after release or on release day. Now, another really interesting thing, too, was the co-op. They are leading this game and the forefront of its conversation in marketing with the fact that it's going to have a very good co-op system and mechanics. So online gameplay is going to be something that I would say whoever wants to be a purveyor of this game needs to take a look at. If you're going to be playing on console, you may need to get your subscription service for maybe Xbox Live, Gold or even PlayStation uh, Plus. And this is something that you have to, you know, kind of. I would say grapple with if that's something you want to engage in. And I think it'll be sensible to actually engage in the co-op because if this is a game that, you know, permits you to be able to level up and strengthen your character, then running through missions to gain XP or doing activities or doing assignments or doing seasonal events are probably going to be the tools for you to be able to use to level up your character and doing it with people might allow for the freedom or I would say create more of the ease or the fluidity for you to be able to get your characters leveled up. Or if you're going to be playing multiple characters or leveling up multiple characters, this is probably going to be something for you to be able to do where you can maybe jump into a mission that's kind of a free flow or free form and you can pick whichever character you want from your library and you can go out on missions with them, level them up, level up their skill trees and make them as strong as they possibly can. Another thing they didn't answer was loot sharing. I wonder how that system will take place. Can people drop loot for you that you need at the end of a mission if they get rewards that they probably don't need or rewards that are probably not? Not pertinent or important to them can they share those rewards with their friends and i guess this is something i'll probably put as a question on uh twitter but it really seems like that co-op side of the game is what they want to really use to develop their community the war table is going to be a hub and an outlet for people to be able to gather information away for the developers the community managers and those involved in the production and direction of this game to be able to reach out to the fans and i think it's a very solid idea i think it's a very solid makeup the way that they've actually put it all together 
So if you look at what we have right now, we have a game that's already, in my opinion, an advanced, uh, you know, stage basically at any moment can go gold. Okay, game comes out in September. So we should be expecting news of gold perhaps here, maybe in about a month or maybe uh, even six, seven weeks. And then from there, we'll know exactly where we're going to be going. And then I guess another question, too, is the beta. Who knows if the beta is going to be out maybe a month before, two weeks before the game's main release. But however the development team wants to actually put this out there, I am quite certain that right now it seems that they're in a more, much more stronger position to release their game than I felt a few weeks ago. Anyways, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. This is really interesting. It's quite exciting to actually see a superhero game um, that's going to be released very soon. I know we have Spider-Man Miles Morales, but these two games are going to be very different in their own way. And it's nice to be able to get that variety in the hands of players. All right, that's it for me. Thank you once again for your time and audience. And I hope to hear from you in the comment section. I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Peace out.